knows what to do. He knocks down his second triple. He's got six so far. Built like a linebacker or a defensive end, but shot that like a guard. A little, nice little pick and pop on the exchange right there up top. He is very important, says Tommy Dempsey of Ahern to this team. Largest lead of the game right now for Binghamton. Michael Alm. Up, 32 is Dennis Ashley, a redshirt sophomore, 6'1", out of L.A. Nice reverse pivot, just couldn't finish there. But Stony Brook contesting every shot inside. They really have had great defensive energy. They take it to Almonesi with a catch and shoot. There's the... ...really competitive. Both teams who have had defensive lapses come into play. Errant pass right there. Michael Almonesi with the pick and the spin. Harassed by Almonese. Stony Brook all over it on the defensive end. Here's Almonese taking it on the fly. Finger rolls it in. Beautiful.
Five turnovers for Maine, three for Stony Brook. Speaking of threes, Ilka Err looking for a three. And speaking of another three, Elijah Olani with the rebound. He takes the return feed, has the burst to the glass. And the foul! The inbounding the ball. It was on Ilka Err. Yeah. Was it, was yeah. it on both? I, I'm not sure. I mean, we've seen both numbers flashing. All right. We're inside a minute. We'll figure it out. Here's Almonese working on Ashley, and he gives it up to Garcia. Sturdivant thinking about it, decides against it. They went high, low. Almonese will run it down and keeps it in half court. Still time with 12 seconds to shoot, Kurt. Yeah, a lot of time to run your offense. A little screen and roll here. Great bounce pass to Sturdivant. Out mm -hmm. of Nurazana and the graduation of Frank. Speaking of big fellas, the Seawolves have a commit from Ontario, a seven-foot center by the name of Alex Christie. Nice bounce pass and a nice... And on a nice little pick and roll, beautifully delivered by Monacy, Big Jake just couldn't hold on. Olani backing it out, working against Meredith, a tri-captain. Corner three for corner. It's short. Carter on the follow went up there. Knocked out of the hands of Unu. Picked up by Almonese. Again, Secunda. Feeling it. Three threes. He's got the 10. Lead is at 32. 15-40 left. Another steal. Running the floor. Numbers are there. Almonese laying it up. Throwing it down. A lot from Columbus, Ohio. Six and a half left. Doubling it up. 88-44 is Almonese. McKenzie, no one defending. You Head of steam, and you don't slow down the ball handler. It's gonna be hard to beat. First two for Cassius Winston. A deep three up top, and Stony. It's hard to get a rhythm. And they didn't get a ton of foul shots against Duke because it's going against the zone. I think that's been a challenge for Michigan State. Just getting into a rhythm, executing on the offensive end. That's a tough shot. First three tonight, he's up to 17 points. Coming off a 19-point game on Tuesday. It's a quiet 17, right? I, I mean, he just seems to get his points one way or another. And honestly resets. Eight to shoot. Play continues, and that three goes in the corner. That Joshua Lankford's going to have those opportunities. Though. Whether it be in transition or executing in the offense, he gets a lot of mid range jump shots, especially when you have big guys occupying space down low looking to score. It's a new career high for the sophomore Lankford. Three, three. Gary, but once you extend it into the defender and create space with it, that's a foul. There's a long three. It's got numbers if they hurry. Adams spotting Vettel. And his offensive struggles continue so far. Quick shooting now for Connecticut. They need to settle down. Secunda, and there's another three. Tonight he's played 17 minutes in this game. Off the inbounds, there's the big guy, and again...
confidence, but also the awareness of Gilbert just to drive into traffic, draw the defense, kick it out to the open man. Well, no hesitation, Tim, from Larrier. He's confident shooting that three-point shot. Well, they need to really go through him. Make sure he touches it in every possession. He's that good. When you've got the step on the baseline, and now we've got one minute left and a chance to cut into a nine-point lead. Against that kind of defensive pressure, you have to get the finish there. Primo takes it, being watched there by St. Tell. To the corner it goes. Eight to shoot, bouncing around. Right block really defending the rim. Seawolves defensively really competitive. Both teams who have had defensive lapses come into play. Air out and credit Almonese for at least slowing the ball handler to the point where Cornish had an opportunity to come and play great help defense. 13 is Braxton, so versatile. He led the nation last year, Braxton, in reboundings for a freshman. And that, that shows a lot of go-to. Nice steal there by 57. Actually, it's team foul number five, so I correct myself there. With around 13 minutes remaining, Rolf is being harassed by Almonese. Stony Brook all over it on the defensive. 